bizarre world, man. We live in a, a bizarre society. How in the fuck? No, man. Hold on. I don't get it, man. I get it, but I still don't get it. Like, I don't get we it. We live in a bizarre world. We live in a bizarre society. Like, I don't get it. But I get it, but I don't. I still don't get it. I mean, just think about this. We live in a world where you know where 99% of the population is from 9 a.m. to 5 a.m., five days a week. I mean, just think about that. You know where they are and what sort of activity they're doing. Like we live in a world where people worship the country that they just happen to be born in. A random plot of land. They worship it. They worship the plot of land. They worship the, the people that supposedly own the plot of land and dictate All nationalism their is is people hating people that they never met and taking pride in something they didn't do. Like, that's, that's what type of society that we have. People partaking in anything that's shoved down their throat, you know. Think about it. We live in a society where the rapists, the murderers, the thieves, the con artists, they make rules that punish you if you do the same thing that got them power and quote unquote success. But then at the same time, they simultaneously tell you to go out and reach success. But you see what I'm saying? It's like, it's a big ass hypocrisy. It's a big ass hypocrisy. Now think about it. We live, in a, we live in a society where the people in power systemically, systematically oppress a group, groups of people and then use tactics like victim shaming to where you hold them to a different standard. Like, like for example, if a cop kills a black person, if you don't even know what happened, the court of law is gonna automatically believe the cop. It's like, or in a court of public opinion, they're gonna say something like, well, he should have had his pants up. Well, he shouldn't have had dreadlocks. Well, he shouldn't have had tattoos. Well, he shouldn't have wore this. Well, he shouldn't have talked like that. Like, God damn. A nigga having some dreadlocks is a fucking death wish? Like, like that deserves that, that me, ha a person having tattoos and dreadlocks deserves to get their life taken away by the supposed people that's here to protect, serve and protect. But oh wait, they're not here to serve and protect the people, they're here to serve and protect the motherfuckers paying them. Duh. I mean, the shit started off as fucking slave patrol. Motherfuckers act like slavery. That shit's just so far removed from society. Motherfucker, they're still slaves. They're still like physical slavery in prisons, indentured servitude, and mental slavery. Mental slavery. You know, I, I get it now. Motherfuckers, see, they, they use... See, they don't have to actively implement slavery because people implement it on each other. They, they perpetuate it through, through themselves. They use shame words, social engineering, you know, with people, people saying, people repeating things, but they don't even realize what they're saying. Like, see, see, this is the thing. Let me use an example. 
motherfuckers always talking about black on black crime you know trying to imply and infer that black people are inherently more violent you know they they, they say you know all those black neighborhoods they're dangerous motherfucker the neighborhood ain't dangerous because it's black it's dangerous because it's poor god damn it it's like you say like a cop kill a black say a person. cop kills a black person and it, and it, let's say black people complain right and like these motherfuckers really sit in and say well blacks kill each other so it's like people that are murdered are overwhelmingly more likely to get killed by someone in their own community it doesn't matter what the community is that's just pure demographics it's not like like that's that's funny to me like you taking you're cherry picking information and, da and data to fit your own narrative to fit your own preconceived notion you see that's bullshit I mean, you go to a trailer park, you go to, you know, a gated community. You see where people are kidnapped. It's more likely to happen by somebody you know. And somebody you know is more likely to be in your community. Duh, that's fucking demographics. But you're using that to cherry pick, cherry pick the data to fit your perspective. And like I said, that's bullshit. And about that. Motherfuckers that get so fucking butthurt when a motherfucker says uh, an ex expletive, uh, a fucking vulgarity, vulgarity and fucking um, profane language curse words, cuss words, and, you know, fuck, bitch. You see, what I don't get is, you motherfuckers really sit here and you care about the style in which something is presented in, rather than the substance. See, I care about the substance over the style. You see, and that's another thing. That's another thing that you use to dismiss someone's argument. Oh, he said a bad word. He said a naughty word. And I disagree with him. So I'm just going to... I disagree with his position and his argument. But I don't have a good comeback. And I don't have a good argument for why I believe what I believe. So I'm just going to call him out on using the naughty words and naughty language. Oh, they, say some, they say some bullshit like... Oh, man. It's for the children. What about the children? First of all, the motherfuckers live in reality. And in reality, motherfuckers curse. Motherfuckers use a damn word. See, I word, see, I'm not with this bullshit like there's some naughty words. Words don't have power. Words don't words are not prescriptive, they're descriptive. They're contextual. They have different meanings based on what context you're using them in. You know? Why would this bullshit words have power? Like, if somebody calls me a name and I punch him in the face, like, like I did that because I just wanted to punch them in the face. It's like, not like the word just inherently hurted me. You know what I mean? It's like, words don't have power, man. It's just a fucking word. Why are you getting so ass hurt? You know, but you see the hypocrisy in that is they'll say not to use fuck, not to say fuck, but then they'll use a euphemism. They'll use a substitution like frick or, you know, they say don't say uh, hell or heck or shit. They'll use a fucking um, darn it or, you know. Some fucking euphemism like fudge. Don't say fuck. 
but they're gonna use fudge. What the fudge just happened? What the fudge are you doing? It's like, so what I'm saying is, so basically what you're saying is, by your use of the word is, you're using this euphemism in place of the word fuck. But you're using it to mean the same thing. So it's so apparently it's not the it's not the the meaning, the usage of of the word and the and the context and the substance of the word. You're actually offended by the word itself. And as I just said before, words don't have power. Words don't have meaning, it's just a word. It's just a collection of letters. You know, they'll say like, oh, don't say fuck. You know, just say, uh, they, they got it on. Let's get it on. Or, you know, some, some other euphemism. But you mean the same thing. You still mean sexual intercourse. But I'm saying fuck. I want to fuck that bitch. I want to fuck, you know, but you saying, no, just, just say, say screw. No, and I don't give a fuck. I honestly don't give a fuck if you're offended because offense is taken, not given. Cause I said what I had to say and you're going to get offended based off of your the, the fact that you're given power to a word to words that that's so that's stupid first of all that's stupid and i'm gonna say it again words don't have power it's the collection of letters and and like i said and like a like i just demonstrated these people they don't, they don't care about the context of the word. You see what I'm saying? They, it's not like they care about the substance of how the word and the context of how the word is being used. They care about the word itself, which is fucking preposterous. Fucking moronic. So I don't give a fuck if you're offended. You know, you're offended. I don't give a shit. You know, it's like, don't say that because I think this, and I think this. Now what, motherfucker? We had an impasse. We're at an impasse. Now what? Oh, how about we look at the facts because they're, I don't know, objective? You know? How about we be, you know, educated, informed? rather than just being opinionated with no demonstrable evidence to support those beliefs. You know, these, these people, that they like to use loaded language and they, they, they had rather an insincere apology than an uncomfortable truth, you know? which is fucking dumb, you know? I'd rather have, and, you know, I'd rather the truth, no matter how it makes you feel, no matter how it makes me feel, I don't give a damn. Uh, you, say you're sorry, apologize, say you're sorry, say you're sorry, that offended me. No, motherfucker, and I don't give a fuck if it offended you. I'm not here to, reaffirm your perspective you know if i say something and i meant it like why the fuck would i apologize for saying it i meant it i meant it motherfucker give a damn if you offended and what i don't get from your perspective is that you know that i you know that i meant it so what is me saying and a dishonest and a disingenuous I'm sorry or giving you a a disingenuous apology what is that going to do to you is that, that going to make you feel better you know 
I don't you see, know. I'd rather have genuine conflict than dishonest harmony. You know, I don't like this this idea that that we're gonna just turn a blind eye to, to everything just because it it maintains the the social the social togetherness of society and you know the social fabric and the the, the harmony and the 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 friendly bobbing and the ass kissing and the pretending like we all like everything's cool and all this other bullshit. Nah, fuck all that, man. I'm gonna address the elephant in the room. You know? Fuck that. Cause how the hell how the hell are we gonna progress if we just act like everything's all cool, everything's all kumbaya, gather around a campfire. And all this other bullshit. Praying's not gonna do anything. Yeah. You know, your thoughts and prayers. That's not gonna do anything. Action is gonna do something. Action based off of the scientific method, logic, reasoning, rationality, skepticism, critical thinking. You know, not prayers and karma, and mysticism and spirituality and and all this astrology that's bullshit man fucking that's bullshit shit ain't real oops sorry to burst your bubble except i'm not because that's what i like about the truth you know it's there it's the truth whether you believe it or not doesn't matter how uncomfortable it makes you feel. And a worldview or a perspective based off an accurate depiction of reality is better than one based off of fiction and unsubstantiated beliefs. You know? But think about this. Let's say like you're in a bank and you're getting some advice from this uh, bank person, bank teller or fucking financial advisor or whatever. And he has a black suit. And then there's another one and he has an orange suit. Which one are you more likely to believe? Which one are you more likely to think is a scam artist, you know, is a con man? You know, you would probably say, most people would probably say the one in the orange suit. But why? Why? Why is that? Because it's just a damn color. It's just the color of a suit. I don't like that. And th take that. And that's how most people think. Now apply that to everything. And most people don't even think about that. Something as simple as that. A, a color of a suit and you literally people make judgment like life changing decisions off of something like that I don't like it's just the color of a suit something so simple that is not even thought of people don't even think about but it goes in it, it, you know, it is used to make life changing decisions. Well, back to the, the dangerous neighborhood thing, you know, you show me a safe, poor neighborhood. I'm waiting. You show me a, a safe, poor neighborhood. What I don't understand is people they ignore the elephant in the room like you would make this this argument this fallacious this great big fallacious argument full of sophistry and you know unsubstantiated claims and irrational beliefs just to reassure reaffirm your perspective and your preconceived notion but you ignore the elephant 
in the room. Like, of course, a fucking poor neighborhood is dangerous. Of course, there's more drugs and murder and, you know, crime in general. They're fucking poor. It's like, it's like people, America and, and society as a whole, it's like they judge people that have all these opportunities and all of this, this standard of living and this quality of life, this high quality of life. They judge them on the same merits as people that don't even have the first basic foundation of a quality of life. It's like, at the end of the day, you gotta remember, we are damn animals. We are animals. And we and we're when we're put in that situation, in that predicament, oh, we're gonna let the animal out of us. You're gonna see that animal. It's gonna get real ugly. It's not gonna be politically correct. It's not gonna be none of that. It's, it's gonna be animalistic. It's gonna get real, real wild. It's none of that fairness, none of that contrarian, being a contrarian and being diplomatic. It's, going, it's none of that. When a, when, a mother, when a motherfucker don't know when his next meal coming from, Oh, it's gonna be some. It's gonna be some loading up guns and going in a motherfucker house and you know jacking their shit, robbing them, and it's gonna be some killing because a motherfucker is uh, selling crack on your block, uh, like some sh some shit like that. Cause this is this ain't this. Not, it's not a movie. This is real life. You know, it, on a, in a movie, or they they just they're they're acting. They're portraying something. As soon as that camera turns off, oh, they back to their regular lavish life. No, not in real life. If the camera doesn't turn off. And worst case scenario, you get killed. Your family get killed, you get tortured. But you see, th this is why, like when people say, talk about morality. See that, I don't, I don't believe in, in that there's this objective morality, this absolute morality. I think morality, first of all, we've made up morality. And what most people mean by morality is well-being, the foundation of well-being. Now you can say that the goal, which is well-being is subjective. But once you establish the goal, then it becomes objective. But anyway, I think morality is situational. Because like I said, how the hell can you judge a person that doesn't even have the first step of a quality of life on somebody that has, that's at the top of the pyramid, you know? I don't understand that. Somebody that literally has enough money to end world hunger, how can you judge them on the same merits as somebody that works three jobs and can't even pay the bills, don't even know where that when they're gonna eat their next meal. It's like, of course, the poor person is gonna result to crime. I mean, because it's in their best interest. It's not in their best interest to be a good citizen and be in all this other bullshit, like be a productive member of society and do what's good for society and all the betterment of society. No, they're doing what's good for them. Because apparently society and the government don't have their best interest. It's apparent, it's evident. Demonstrable. So, I just, I don't understand that, you know, you know, when I, when I first realized that this world was fucked up, when I was a little kid and they said, nice guys finish last, well, goddamn, shit, you know, fuck, shit, it's like, you know, when, when they tell you, 
when, when you're a little kid, they tell you, when you grow up, you can be anything you want. Really? No, your ass is black. Shit. God, God damn it. Fuck. Shit. God damn it. Fuck. Really? No, you cripple. Fuck. God. Fuck it. I'm done. I, I'm, I'm done. It's, I'm, it's, fuck this. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Fuck it. I'm done. No, you're gay. Shit. No, you're ugly. Fuck. You know, it, it's funny because like society, they tell you that we're all created equal. We're all equal. But then they blatantly judge you and reward you off of things that are completely out of your control. You know, that that's funny to me. That's appalling. I am fucking flabbergasted. You know. But I like to I like to point out the elephant in the room. I like to look for these hypocrisies and point them out. And say, look, motherfucker, you have a flaw in your argument, bitch. See like when these racist motherfuckers, these racist people in a quote unquote position of power, you know, whatever you want to say, the man, the government, the establishment, no fuck it all. But when I like I, I kinda like it's funny, but at the same time, it's pretty disgusting. It's like it's pretty stupid and pretty repugnant when I see motherfuckers oppress people like how do you want to say like minorities any type of person that's disenfranchised from a disenfranchised group or whatever they, they're kissing the ass of the people that are actively holding them back in some way in some way like like let's say they make rules specifically to hinder you but then you like, no, well, that, that's just the rules, man. We got to follow them, man. Like, let's say back in the 60s, you know, when people was protesting, doing these peaceful protests. And they fucking set dogs on them and sprayed them with hoses and shit and hung up, hanged them and lynched them. And, you know, curb stomped them. And you had motherfuckers like Martin Luther King saying... Let's turn the other cheek. Fuck that shit. I'm not turning no fucking other cheek. Fuck that, man. That's bullshit. You see, it's like you're actively kissing the ass of the people that are holding you back, that are oppressing you. I don't fuck with that. I do not fuck with that. You know, it's like, it's another, it's another thing with like with religion, like let's say the Bible, the Bible, it justifies slavery. You know, you know, it says, and you know, I already know people are going to come. Oh, that was the Old Testament. Motherfucker, well, you, you good old buddy, Jesus, you know, you look at that, he says, Slaves, obey your masters, no matter how harsh. And you know, they say stuff like turn the other cheek and faith is a virtue. That's all bullshit. Of course, they're going to put that, they're going to perpetuate that and tell the slaves that. So now they pass it on to their descendants. And now in fucking the modern day where we got the internet and vast amount of knowledge at our fingertips yeah she still got people believing this bullshit and, and preaching this bullshit like come on man really really i don't get it man i don't get it like i get it but i don't get it I don't fuck with that, like, well, 
That's just the way the world works. That's just the way it is. No, that's not the way it is, man. They, they, they made you docile to where you can say that. To where, oh, you're saying that. So now, their status quo, which benefits them and is not in your best interest, is perpetuated, continued. I mean, that's common sense. Oh, wait, 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 wait one motherfucking second before I end this motherfucker. You know, what I, what I fucking hate, you know what I fucking hate? When, when a person brings up a flaw or something in America that they don't like, you know what the first thing these fucking Republican, conservative, right-wing, fucking flag-loving, Bible-thumping, fucking... Government dick riding ass establishment boot licking motherfuckers say, Why don't you just leave? Just leave the damn country. Just leave the country. That's that's really that's interesting actually. That's interesting because you think that America is exempt from criticism. You think that any type of scrutiny applied to your preconceived notion. Is going to destroy it's going to bring about cognitive dissonance you have cognitive dissonance because when the facts are presented you get uncomfortable when you say something like you know when you 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 bring you bring these these monuments and these statues of these slave owners and these rapists you know and, and these people that that were pro-slavery and in these in these flags and these symbols that represent slavery, and you 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 say you think to yourself, "Hey, I don't want I don't want him uh, do, I don't want them uh, saying that that that's slavery. No, that that's that's no, that, that's just what America is. And you know what? You're right because that is what America is. That that's the foundation of America. Slavery." Genocide, rape, theft, you're right. But the thing about it is, you're, you're trying to paint it in a different picture. You see what I'm saying? You, you're, you're trying to paint it in a different picture, in a different light than what it really is. See, that that is the reality. That's the foundation of America. But I don't understand, the, the point I don't understand is, wouldn't, when somebody brings about a problem in America, why is, is leave the, the fucking country, why is that always the, the, the response? Wouldn't, wouldn't you want to correct those things? But that's the point. You don't want to correct those things because that is, that's what you believe in. That's what you stand for. Those, that oppression and that disenfranchisement you like those things about America so instead of admitting that you know yeah those things are wrong you would rather just disengage from the entire discussion altogether you want them you want to live in an echo chamber to where your perspective and your preconceived notions and your beliefs are reaffirmed and you know, repeated to you ad nauseum. That's why you watch Fox News and all this other bullshit. You know, like, wouldn't it, wouldn't the, the correct or rational response be, well, you know what? Let's take this into consideration and let's find a solution to this, so that we and and our children's children's children can live better lives. But no, I don't want that. Leave the fucking country. Why can't I just, wh like, why do I have to blindly ha have just blind reverence towards some random arbitrary plot of land? Why, why can't somebody just have a genuine, like, somebody that actually cares about the well-being of the country just have a genuine uh, complaint 
about something that they want to change, genuinely change. But these people don't want that. These regressives don't want that. That's it's pretty funny to me. It's funny, but at the same time, I hate it. It's fucking... It's just a big hindrance. People that think like that are a hindrance on society. They are they are the hindrance. These closed-minded people that are opposed to new information or any information that destroys their perspective. That just utterly takes their perspective, turns it on its fucking head. You know, they don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear whatever they believe repeated to them. That's it. So I, I just thought that was, that was just that's just funny to me. Leave the fucking country. 